series of unfortunate events with Lazarus continues. <laughs> In May 2016, I made a decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. day 10. I'm in Fort Peck. I camped right next to the lake last night, which evidently was a bad idea because as soon as I got the tent stuff out, the storm hit. As soon as I got out the, the rain fly, it started pouring on top of the wind, which was f***ing crazy. For almost an hour, I was almost knocked over by how bad the wind was. But as you can hear, it's still hella windy today. It's supposed to rain a little bit later, so I'm gonna try and get my butt moving. It's about 7 a.m. right now. Yeah, Amanda, let's camp next to a giant ass lake during Earth, that lightning and thunderstorm. That, that's a great idea. Yeah, good stuff. It is day 11 on the pilgrimage, um, and as you can see by the background behind me, I've had to break one of my rules. It wasn't really my idea. So day 10, I survived the storm that went through Fort Peck, made my way south to Circle from Wolf Point. I was 3.8 miles outside of Circle when I lost power on the bike and she died. And I pulled over to the side of the road and she wouldn't start again. She'll turn over and everything so I know it's not the battery. She's trying to start. She'll like spark like a, for a second but it won't catch. So I'm thinking that I got bad gas in Wolf Point or my spark plugs are... I need new spark plugs. <laughs> so pull over to the side of the road. Uh, tried to push it a ways. I think I pushed it like half a mile. But it was slightly uphill and the bike is really heavy loaded. Finally flagged down an old woman um, and asked her if she knew if there was a tow truck in town. And she'd, yeah, 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 and uh, just took off. She didn't give me an option to come with her into town. So I like sat down on the side of the road like, shit. Giant semi-truck actually pulled over to the side of the road to see if I was okay, which was super cool. And I told him that I had already sent a lady into town to get a tow truck, you know. And he was worried that I had got knocked over by the wind. Which was funny because on both sides of the road, that storm that I survived in Fort Peck, well, the telephone poles running alongside the road on Highway 24 going to Circle, they didn't survive the storm. A bunch of them were like knocked over, like torn apart at the middle. Like not just like knocked front down from the bottom, but like stripped, like destroyed, like from the middle and knocked over, including like the ones that have two poles with the X's in the middle, like they were down too. It was freaking crazy. After a little while, uh, the police officer showed up, the sheriff, and his name is Lonnie. He didn't have a trailer or anything, but he had a stock trailer, so he went back to, all the way to his house to and brought the horse trailer back to haul me into town. The way that he pulled back up to me, the trailer was in the ditch, so the trailer's like at an angle. But we got Lazarus into the trailer, but like as soon as he let go, she just went. <sighs> Smashed my mirror in the horse trailer, so I have no right rearview mirror anymore. 
and got her back up, got her into town, and he just took me to the motel. And I went like, there's, there's two guys who used to be motorcycle mechanics who live around here, but um, they won't be available until Monday. And I pulled in on Saturday. And nothing is open in circle on a Sunday, except the gas station. There's supposed to be a car quest in town, but I don't think, they're not gonna be open until Monday. So I can't even get new spark plugs to see if that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can find a bucket and drain the gas out of the gas tank and just put new gas in it and see if it was that. At least the hotel was cheap. Two days. Two days. I've only gone two days from the last incident. Shit happens. Shit happens and we have to adjust. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't gone on the freeway. I haven't eaten at a fast food restaurant. And I haven't used GPS. So, on those fronts, I'm still doing awesome. The hotel one, not so much. Good times. Good times on the trail. Day 11. <laughs>